everyone, all who are in one body of Christ our Savior, welcome to the day the Lord has given us. Today, we will be meditating upon the topic of living a chosen life. Before we start, let's see what the scripture says about this topic. But when God, who set me apart from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, was pleased to reveal his son in me, so that I might preach among the Gentiles, my immediate response was not to consult any human being. Galatians chapter 1, verse 15 through 16. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. We are all chosen to become like Jesus. How would you respond if someone asked you, what's the purpose of your life? God's purpose for us goes far beyond our profession or any of our accomplishments. Scripture teaches us the primary reason God has chosen us. He would like us to be conformed in the image of his Son. Furthermore, God wishes to reveal his Son in us, through our God-given personalities and interests. If we are confused about God's plan for us, and if we're wondering what we should be doing in our lives, remember that God intends to make us more like Jesus. The goal of our Christian life is to become like Christ. Let's meditate on the scripture and see what we find in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17 through 32. We learn that we can put on a new self, created to be like God in righteousness and holiness. The new we will possess attitudes and display actions consistent with how we see Jesus behave in the Gospels. We might find ourselves more compassionate like Jesus, more trustworthy, and more humble. We might find ourselves taking the lowest place as a servant wherever we are, just like Paul has described in the book of Philippians, chapter 2. If we take note of what Jesus' values are in the gospel, we might be able to find ourselves drawn to children, the brokenhearted, and the outcasts of society. The Holy Spirit within us shapes our character to become more like Jesus in every situation of our lives. The fruit of the Spirit, described in Galatians, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control, all remind us of Jesus' character. When we find ourselves in a situation that tests our ability to display these character traits, consider that God placed us in that spot to grow us to become more like Jesus. Think of how Jesus served others, how he suffers for others, and how he seeks and saves the lost. As we grow to become more like Jesus, we will do extraordinary, countercultural things. We will become the person we've always wanted to be, the one in whom people can see Jesus. This message also gives us a promise for our day. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I obey my Father's commandments and remain in his love. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, open my eyes to be transformed to live a life worth living, bringing glory to you in everything I do. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. And if God's willing, we'll talk to you tomorrow.